I'm Ryan Thompson here with DUPanthers.com. Today we're being joined by McCall Salmon, head softball coach, as well as seniors Emily Mays and Lindsay Tasma. Team is 43 and 7 right now, coming off a WAC championship in the tournament, and also they shared it in the regular season. They're getting ready for the NAIA opening round. And coach, uh, what's some of the preparations going into this tournament? Um, for us, we're just getting ready um, to play Hastings on Monday. Um, Offense is going to be huge for us, so um, just our daily practice routine that we've been doing since the start of the season. And what are some of the keys to winning this? I know last year you guys were unfortunately 0-2 in that opening round, uh, but you have experience. What do you learn from that and bring into this one to advance? For us, last year leaving um, without a victory on our home field um, has left a bad taste in our mouth since we finished the season. Um, it's been a consistent reminder for us um, all year, and it's been a motivator. Um, the opportunity to host again, uh, these seniors will be hosting for their third time in four years, and the opportunity to leave your home field with a victory is something that they've wanted since they've started here. So um, we're looking forward to hosting. We're excited to host. There's nothing better than playing on your home field to open up the national tournament. You know, and finally for you, talk about the resiliency of this team. You guys went to the regular season needing a sweep of Dearborn to tie for the league title, and you did that. Then you come into the WAC tournament, you lose one game, you have to beat Madonna twice to win the tournament, and you did that. So talk about how resilient this team has been this year. Extremely resilient. I guess we just like a challenge. Um, we like to do it the hard way, and these guys thrive under pressure. Um, it's something that we talk about, but you know, for us, we just try and stay in the process and take it one pitch at a time, one inning at a time, um, work on our game goals, and if we accomplish those, um, the wins will come after that. And you know, for us, in the last two weeks, we're 11 and one. Um, We've known that we were 11 and one since we've gotten the automatic bid to the national tournament, and I think um, the ability for these seniors to go on top, win four straight regular season championships and four straight conference tournament championships is something no senior class has ever done, um, let alone any uh, Davenport class is going to do moving forward with us going to the GLIAC. And now we're here with senior Lindsay Tasma. And how has your role changed on this team in being a senior as an underclassman, maybe a little more of a passive role, but coming into a leadership role this year, how are things changed for you? I think I've become definitely more vocal as a leader and um, definitely leading more by example. You talk about being in this situation again. Uh, year after year, you guys have been in this situation where you're playing in the opening round. How exciting is it to get to this point every year? It's a great feeling. Um, like. Coach McCall said um, not many seniors can say they've won every conference tournament and won their conference every single year. So it's a great feeling. Nothing's better than winning a championship. And Emily, you've been really consistent in the circle all four years. What's been your key to the consistency? Um, just uh, winning every inning, pitching strikes, and um, playing for my team, keeping them in the game. How do you stay composed when you're in a situation like this where you know where one or two pitches could change the momentum of the game? So how do you have composure coming into tight situations in a tournament like this? Um, you just got to control what you can control. Um, keep your mind uh, stable and um, just go with the game. Thank you so much. And the team will begin play on Monday, May the 15th, a 3 o'clock game against Hastings. So come on out and join us as uh, we we'll look forward to a really exciting opening round here in the NAIA tournament.